Today you are going to learn how to create a digital art collage using Google Slides. To begin, select a quote you would like to feature in your design. This is going to be the inspiration for your digital collage. Next, open the student template Google Slides attachment. This will create a new Google Slide that is blank, so you may begin your project. Embellish and design the background of the collage. Working in layers, select a background color for your slide. Next, choose five or more additional layers to add in, building up visual interest. Use the internet to help find images that you like. Select insert, image, search the web. You will then notice a search bar appear on the right hand side of your screen. On the top, simply type in whatever you are looking for, plus the word transparent PNG. Scroll and select the images you want to include within the design. Insert or drag and drop them onto your slide. Resize and format the images as needed. To further customize the look of your selected images, with the image selected, you'll notice that there's a format option button that appears. When you click it, on the right hand side of your screen, additional editing tools will appear. These tools allow you to do all sorts of things, such as rotating or flipping an image, adjusting the color, making the image appear transparent, or even adding shadows and reflections. Be sure to use all of these editing tools as you repeat this process, building up the layers of your background until it looks full. To reorganize your layers, right-click on the image and select Order, then choose where you would like it to go. In this example, I am placing the sun behind the mountain. To crop a photo, double-click on the image, then drag the black brackets to the desired location. A really neat thing about using Google Slides to create digital art collages is that there's a lot of forgiveness. Using this platform, it allows you to experiment with different colors, patterns, textures, subjects. You can constantly move around, resize, and replace different images, all without really having to do much except copy, paste, or delete. Although you are only required to have five different layers, in your background, I encourage you to put a lot of effort into this step as it builds up a visual richness and it will really make your design look interesting. Once your background is fully developed, add a text box featuring your selected quote. Simply click on Insert, Text Box, then draw on the slide where you would like to place it. Edit and resize the text box as needed. 
You can play around with the font size, the location of the text, whether it's aligned right, center, or left. Continue to adjust until you have it in the spot that you prefer. Make sure that your text is viewable. I have a lot going on in my background, and because of that, I decided to insert an additional shape behind my text. This is going to allow my quote to appear clearly on my digital art collage. It's also going to create separation between my embellished background and my text box. Although not required, I highly recommend that you also include this in your design. Finish off your digital art collage by selecting three subjects to include within the design. Although in my design I have a silhouette of a bird as part of my background, I still went ahead and added three additional subjects featuring butterflies, ladybugs, and a clip art picture of Amanda Gorman. Rename your Google slide with your first and last name to help keep your work organized. Be sure to attach the completed slide to the assignment and mark it as turned in within Google Classroom. <laughs>